If you want to work for a Japanese company, you must be able to speak Japanese. N2 or N1 level speaking, reading, and writing skills are required. We explain what level of Japanese companies require and how you can work in Japan. In conclusion, you should enroll in a language school or a college with a student visa. Then go to a four year s university and obtain anyone. This route has the highest employment rate, so to speak, the golden route. First, let me explain why Japanese language is necessary for foreigners. Because Japanese cannot speak English. Interviewers, colleagues, and clients are also Japanese, so they can only understand Japanese. If you submit your resume in English when you apply for a job, no one will read it. Even if you write your resume in Japanese, It is meaningless if you can't communicate your past experience in Japanese. To begin with, if you don't have over JLPT attitude, you will most likely not be able to apply. Even if you can, only 6% of all companies will interview any three holders. You can apply to 100 companies. And be interviewed by only six of them. It is estimated that about 46 of companies will interview N2 holders and 47 with N1. We have many job openings for foreigners, and even if we introduce N3 holders, they will not even look at the documents. Even N2 or N1 holders are sometimes rejected. The following is a detailed explanation of the level of Japanese required. Number one, be able to properly convey your past experience and the skills you have in Japanese. If you cannot communicate your past experience, The company will not be able to understand your past work. It is important to be able to convey your past experience in Japanese. Simple sentences is okay. Number two, be able to write and read emails in Japanese. When you join a Japanese company, communication will be by phone or email. But Japanese people use email a lot. Using a Google Translator will take a lot of time, so make sure you can read N3 to N2 level kanji. Number three, develop listening skill to understand Japanese among Japanese people. In meetings at Japanese company, people speak fast. It is important to be able to understand what the speaker is trying to say. You can learn all three of the a verb by going through the golden rule mentioned a verb. If you only have any four and your Japanese is not good, but you want to change jobs, here are some tips on how to succeed in your new job. Number one. Use a specialized recruitment agency for foreigners like us. We have a large number of positions available at companies that hire foreigners. We will not only write your resume and cover letter in Japanese on your behalf, but we will also promote your skills and experience to the company for you. You can also take Japanese lessons to make your job transition smoother. Number two, ask Hello Work to introduce you to a job. Hello Work has many jobs that are relatively easy to find. However, you will need to prepare your own resume and cover letter. Number three, receive support from the government. There are city halls and support groups for foreign residents, 
so ask them to introduce you to jobs. Like Hello Work, it is relatively easy to get a job offer, but you need to prepare the application documents by yourself. It is extremely difficult to find a job by yourself, so you can easily change jobs by using the golden route, getting a job introduction from an university, or by requesting a job change agent dedicated to foreigners like us. Of course, if your Japanese is at least N2 or equivalent, the job offer rate will be much higher. It is not too late, please study Japanese and get N1. And also, please don't forget that we are here for those who don't speak Japanese well. If you found this video informative, please subscribe to our channel.